state your name and then just tell the judge real quick your relationship to the family. My name is Jean Sheffield. And Your Honor, before I read my statement, I would like to read this excerpt from Lorraine and Glenn Bailey, the other grandparents in this case who could not be here. Your Honor, I know his sentencing hearing is with charge of murder. Consideration should be for the younger, lovely, good young victim, our 13-year-old granddaughter, Tristan. Glenn and I are family, friends, and the incredible number of good people in this world who know her story are outraged at his viciousness and need to know he will be put behind bars for the rest of his life so he can never hurt another innocent person and inflict pain of loss on that person's family and loved ones. And if there is the possibility that this letter will be considered by future parole boards, even if he shows signs of remorse, the rate of repeat offenders by freed parolees is too much of a chance that he will return to his wicked ways. Caring, good, intentioned people tell us that sentencing will give us closure. That word implies finality and a possible end to the pain of living without her and dealing with our memories. Rubbish. There's not a day or night we won't live with the awareness of her physical absence, nor do we want that. What we do want and what Tristan deserves is justice. The justice of knowing he will spend the rest of his life behind bars, reminding him of the heinous crime he committed and that he will never have the opportunity to hurt another innocent being. May I ask your awareness of another crime that he caused is still occurring and will follow us for the rest of our lives. When you commit a murder, you are also guilty of stealing their future. He is a thief. My husband's life and mine, my family, the cheer family she adopted and adopted her, and the countless people who have come to know her through Stacy's weekly Facebook messages, our lives will never be the same. He has stolen the joy of everyday life with her, her enthusiasm, her insistence on being included for any family event, her wordy description of the day's happenings, especially to whomever the chauffeur of the day was, her anticipation of being together with her friends and whole family on Sunday, or as it was known, Bailey Family Fun Day, and her interaction with each of us in a different, special way. He has stolen some of the family dynamic, and we all have to find a new sense of normalcy. There is another unknown loss he caused, the tremendous amount of good she gave to the world in her short life, the awareness of her story on the importance of kindness and caring to others, and her signs from heaven, all extraordinary. We don't know what career path she would have chosen in life, but if she did all of this in her 13 years on this earth, imagine what she could have done in adulthood. Your Honor, at 86, I know my time is limited in living with her loss, but please consider how her murder impacted my life and the lives of so many. Justice demands that you take away his freedom. Thank you for your time and any consideration you may give to my impact statement. That would be Lorraine and Glenn Bailey. And those are the parents of Forrest. Forrest parents, and correct. Ms. Sheffield, you are um, Stacy Bailey's mother. I am Stacy. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to tell this defendant how he destroyed my life. While I choose to not speak his name, please know that this impact statement is directed to the defendant in this case. My name is Jean Sheffield. I am Tristan Bailey's maternal grandmother. I flew to Singapore where Tristan was born in January 2008 and held her for the very first time. In 2017, I moved from Denver, Colorado in order to spend as much time as possible with my daughter, son-in-law, and grandchildren. Had I even dreamed you would cut my time with Tristan so short, I would have never left her side. I am very grateful for the years I had with her here in Florida, but it wasn't enough. 
You stole from me the lifetime I was supposed to have with her. You stole that from all of us. Because of you, life for my family and me has been a living hell since Mother's Day of 2021. From the moment my daughter called me that morning stating that they couldn't find Tristan, that she was not in her bedroom and was missing, my reality and the reality for all of us has shifted on its axis. Life has become a nonstop nightmare because of you. In the hour it took me to drive to Tristan's home, I had convinced myself I would arrive to see her being lectured by her parents. Instead, I arrived to a war zone. Police cars, a helicopter circling overhead, bloodhound searching, and dozens of people from the community trying to find Tristan. It was chaos. It was insanity, and it made no sense. None of this has made any sense. You made the deliberate decision to destroy our lives. Why and to what end? As a mother and a grandmother, my only desire has been to take this pain away from my family. I've watched every member of my family literally drop to their knees in utter despair, and I can't fix it. I can't do anything to help them, and they can't do anything to help me. You are the one that did this to our family. I literally can't comprehend the evil in you. You have completely destroyed not only my life, but also the lives of Tristan's mom and dad, her siblings, her paternal grandparents. You have irreparably damaged Tristan's friends, her cheer family, and even the people who have never had the opportunity to have her incredible spirit in their lives. Tristan will never get to experience going to high school, prom, learning, to drive, graduating, going to college, having a boyfriend, husband, or children of her own. She will never get the opportunity to guide her niece into the world of cheer, the world that Tristan loves so much. We will never get to experience Tristan's excitement and watch her meet those milestones. You stole that from us. The first thought I have upon waking each and every day is that Tristan isn't here that she isn't coming down the stairs or coming through that front door. Not only is she not here, she was ripped from us with utter malice and evil in the most hideous way possible. I don't possess the words to tell you how we all miss her amazing smile, her laugh, her bubbly personality, her enthusiasm, her determination, and even her sassiness. Oh, what any of us would give to hear a little sass from her at this moment. Holidays will never be the same for our family. Our lives will never be the same again. Every night when it's dark outside, the anxiety of imagining the fear she must have felt with each stab of your knife is too much to bear. I sleep usually no more than two hours at any given time, and I almost always wake up in a panic attack. You have impacted not only my physical health and mental health, but my family's as well. The pain, grief, and sadness you have inflicted upon our family and friends, as well as the entire community, is incomprehensible. And you chose this. You chose this. How dare you? And yet, you get the freedom to still be alive. You ripped that same freedom away from Tristan that early morning of May 9, 2021. You did it deliberately and with unspeakable malice. You planned this. You put forethought and effort into it. You went out of your way to spread this evil into our lives. Your actions are beyond senseless and horrific. The only thing that even approaches justice is that you go to prison for life and that you will not be able to hurt anyone else or destroy any more lives. No, I do not forgive you, and I don't accept any pathetic apology you might offer. In my opinion, you apologized only when it became abundantly clear that the consequences of your actions were imminent. I hope these consequences truly are inescapable and that you are sentenced to life in prison. In 25 years, when your case is reviewed, I pray that people looking at it realize there is literally no other justice than to keep you behind bars until the end of your life. This is the least of what you deserve.
This white stone represents the loss and happiness and emotional stability for me and my family, which died on the day this defendant chose to murder our granddaughter. Thank you.